Let's talk about some chat GPT-4 prompts for entrepreneurs. Let's get started right away. So the bottom one and the first one, I'm going to be doing three of them, but the good thing about them is that they're very flexible and they work with a lot of entrepreneurs. So I wanted to pick something that I feel like a lot of fellow entrepreneurs could utilize. This one's going to be more about time management, which is always something I am looking to improve. I'm sure you probably are as well. So I just put, as an entrepreneur, I work from home. You can always change that. My day starts at X and ends at Y. Plug that into when you would go. I don't always go to four p.m. So that's just like an example time slot there. Provide me with a schedule that I can follow that allows me to maximize my work hours while also giving time to eat and rest. So you want to be the most efficient with your work hours, but you do want a little a few breaks here and there so that maybe you don't burn out. You can get something to eat, get more energy, whatever it's going to be. So that's going to be the prompt for being productive in your daily, like with your workload. So let's click on the arrow button. Usually takes a little bit longer to generate chat GPT for content. So I'm going to pause this or not pause it. I will be back in a few seconds once it is done. All right. So here I am from the future. Future looks bright. We got a good amount of content here. So here's a suggested schedule to help you maximize your work hours while also ensuring you have time for meals and breaks. Feel free to adjust it based on your personal preferences and work habits. So we have our wake up in our morning routine, personal hygiene, uh, mindfulness, meditation, stretch, light exercise, breakfast at 730. So work session starts at eight and this is going to go to uh, for two hours to 10. Uh, reviewing your to-do list and setting priorities, begin with the most important or complex tasks to tackle while you're most focused and alert. So there's some good suggestions in here. I have a to-do list myself. I usually do some of the most important stuff first. There's always the back and forth where, you know, tackle the easiest stuff first to build momentum. But then I, sometimes I feel like you could just still say no to the stuff you've been putting off. So if, if you do the most important stuff, I think that is most beneficial in my opinion. We have a morning break, then we have work session once again. Then we have two hours and 15 minutes of work for a lunch break for 30 minutes, prepare a balanced meal, so on and so forth. Work session three, resume, uh, switch to less demanding tasks if you feel your energy levels wanting, waning, wanting, either or, want, pot potato, potato, right? Uh, I do like this overall because usually towards the end of the day, I can feel myself kind of dwindling down a little. My energy isn't as great. I don't know if you've watched a lot of my videos, but if I'm doing too many of them, my voice will definitely lose a lot of its zeal and enthusiasm. And that certainly happens later on in the day. Take another short break to stretch, move or rehydrate. We have another work session. And of course, end of work day, you can reflect. Usually at the end of work day, I like looking at what I need to do the next day or the day after. So that's something else you can do. So overall, this is a great prompt when it comes to being more productive with the hours that you have in your specific day. Maybe as an entrepreneur, you have a more of a side hustle and you'd like it to be a full-time thing. You can talk about how you have a job at a specific hours of the day and of course work from there. So it is a template. It's very flexible. You could obviously just put in whatever it is you are doing, but you can start from here and obviously change it to make it more appropriate for you. Let's do another one. All right, so as an online business owner, identify some of the biggest time wasters and give me advice for remaining focused all throughout the workday. So this is a prompt once again, where you could put a little bit more information in it and say like, this is my workday, this is what I do. And pretty much what it's gonna do is allow you to focus better and once again, be better when it comes to productivity. So these are more prompts obviously for entrepreneurs, but being more focused, getting more things done. Um, and yeah, productive. I think I mentioned that a few times. So let's hit enter here. And once again, I'm going to cut it off or stop it. And I will see you in a few seconds once it is done. All right. So if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking for more ways to get focused, more ways to get done and be overall more productive, like I, like I said, most entrepreneurs want that. This is some good information for you. So it says identify some of the biggest time wasters. You might not be aware of these because sometimes you might just be doing them and it just turns into a habit, but a lot of these are very good. So social media and personal email, limit your access to social media and personal email during work hours. Uh, I There is a, just to add a note to that, I know there's a lot of Google Chrome extensions that will just completely disable the, uh, like the newsfeed on like Facebook, on YouTube, um, you know, any other big social media platform. If you ever feel like you're going to those and scrolling, that's a great way to stop that. Unnecessary meetings. That's really big. If say you're in like more of an office area where you have a team and so on and so forth. Multitasking, while it may seem efficient, multitasking often leads to reduced productivity. Focus on one task at a time and break larger tasks into smaller manageable parts. Uh, constant interruption. This is a big one. I think the only one who can interrupt me is my cat. 
uh, every now and then while I'm recording my video, she will jump up on my knee. She will sit up on my table where she is right now, and she will look for birds, squirrels, and bunnies. It's kind of fun, but this is very important if you do have a lot of interruptions. If you work from home, or even if you're not working from home, you got to let people know sometimes that, like, listen, I need to get stuff done. Poor time management, plan your workday in advance. We talked about this previously. Doing a to-do list is great. I call it to-do tomo, which is short for to-do tomorrow. I've been doing that for over 10 years. I remember when I first started, I took a picture of me writing down in my journal with that same name, and I've been doing it ever since. So when you wake up, you don't have to be like, wait, what should I be doing? It just takes so much more brain power power for you to kind of scramble around, figure out what you need to do. So if you do that the day before, it's going to save you a lot of time, effort, and energy. So a uh, lack of clear goals, which is, you know, pretty straightforward. Like, why are you doing what you do? Make sure something is juicy, is attached to it to incentivize you to maybe work a little bit longer. Inefficient workflows. So using tools like Zapier and so on and so forth in case you want to automate stuff. That's what my channel is all about when it comes to software, automation, landing pages, webinars, you know, automated live events. Not, well, they're not live. They're obviously, it looks like they're live, but they're automated. Uh, unorganized workspace. I'm good with this. I hate having, I uh, just, I'm, definitely an OCD nut. I don't know about you, but like, I don't like having a lot of files or folders on my desktop. Uh, aside from that, everything is always neat and organized where I can find it. So decluttering definitely helps. And of course, burnout. This is what we talked about with our previous prompt to give you a nice schedule so that you can pretty much go through. You can do what you need to do. You can get in your efficient work, but also take some breaks so that you don't burn out over time. So not only are we getting some prompts, we're getting some really good advice here in terms of productivity, focus, and overall just getting better results. Last but not least. All right, so here's going to be a little bit different one where it's more benefit oriented. I tried to make it as broad as possible because when you say entrepreneur, that's a lot of different, you know, uh, businesses that you can own, operate, and so on and so forth. So here what I have is give me 10 different ways that I can grow my parentheses. This is rechange. I just put online business without doing something that you don't like. So, and let's just delete this. Yeah, I had that there so that you can add it in. So give me 10 different ways that I can grow my. What do we got for a business? We have a candle selling business, sure, off the top of my head, without you know mass producing, you know, twenty new candles every month. Whatever it's going to be, that was. I, it's funny how that's the first example that came to my mind. I don't specifically know anyone that sells candles. I think aside from Courtney Cox, I don't personally know her, but just throwing that out there. And so after I hit enter, I realized that I didn't put anything specific for me because, right, you know, obviously you change this around for you. So that's what you're going to want to do. Otherwise, it's going to go through and say, like, I don't dislike or like anything or something weird like that. Right. So I put give me 10 different ways that I can grow my online business without me doing something that I don't like, such as product launching. OK, we're going to get more specific here. We're going to get better results. So let me hit enter here and I will be back once this is done. All right, so here we go, much better. So this is gonna be anything that you can utilize to grow your online business without you just adding in something that you really don't wanna do. So content marketing, create valuable, informative, and engaging content that attracts customers and keeps them coming back. Focus on blog posts, videos, podcasts, or infographics. I will skim a little bit more just for the other ones since there's a good amount of content. Social media marketing like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Email marketing, self-explanatory, SEO, ranking higher, say like in Google. Collabs and partnerships, kind of like a JV type of thing, maybe with affiliate, speaking of affiliate, develop an affiliate program, customer testimonials and reviews for encouraging or to encourage satisfied customers to leave reviews and testimonials on your website, retargeting campaigns, like say for advertising, optimize user experience, probably, I think that would be my least favorite one. I think all the other ones are better. Like that helps overall, but is that really going to help a ton? It will, but compared to some of the others, I think are better offer exceptional customer service and so on and so forth. So, so this is the updated prompt to give me 10 different ways that I can benefit. Okay. Whatever that's going to be without me doing something that I don't like, such as product launching. So you notice that's not going to be in here pretty much anything related to launching a product. So those are going to be some of the chat GPT four prompts for entrepreneurs. I hope you got a lot out of this, especially the first two. Those are my favorite, which really talk about, say, like work, getting more done, being more productive, focus. I feel like these are some of the fundamentals of being an entrepreneur, but a lot of people glaze over them because they want the shiny, sexy stuff. But you can't really get the shiny, sexy stuff right if you're just looking at cat videos all day long. You know what I mean? That about does it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.